Hello, in this video, I am going to cover the double variable with you. Okay, so first of all, I want to say I highly recommend that you check out the float video because this essentially is an extension of that. Essentially, the difference between float and double is this float has X amount of, you know, precision, the amount of digits it can have beyond the decimal point. Double has more than that. Uh, there's still a limit, but there is it is significantly higher so usually if float isn't enough precision you're going to double and double definitely for pretty much 99.99999 percent you know the scenarios out there will be a okay so ju just bear that in mind so again to get the min and maxes you will need the float.h library you don't need that to actually use double we're just you know getting some information about doubles and floats so we can actually copy this because we'll do the same and we'll change all of these to double so you see this double min max and, and all of these will be dbl 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 and dbl save that and if we was to give this a run let's open this up a bit this is what we get. We get a precision of 6 for float and we get a precision of 15 for double. And these are the min and max values, positive and negative. Again, you can change it from percent %g, which is scientific notation, to percent %f for float. And for double, I'll actually show you in a second what you would need to do for double. Okay, to get the precision. So now, how do you create a double variable? Simple, put the double keyword, name it, I'm gonna call it D equals, and I'm literally going to put this number here. And to print it out, you go printf, and instead of %f, you put %lf, it's like a long float, essentially, you can think of it like that, backslash n, comma, D. And uh, let's give this a little run. There we go. Okay, my thinking the value is exactly the same, it's rounded it. The thing is, this is the correct way of doing a double, but if you don't set a specific amount of precision, it automatically goes to the float amount. So you need so underlying this is actually storing this value. The, for float, this has been rounded, but this actually has the full you know data there and if we put a breakpoint and I'll cover in separate video breakpoints and as you can see it has all of the precision like literally there and let me get rid of that get rid of that and and so how do we actually print it out if we want to see what you do you put percent dot then the amount of precision that you want and as we know the precision for a double is 15 you put 15 you can put less but putting less won't show you the full precision of the double putting more will just won't actually show you anything extra it's just we'll just essentially be giving zeros or incorrect values so if we run that now as you can see we have the three at the end and we have the extra zeros to make up 15 digits of precision. So if I was to add a bit extra there, run it, as you can see, it's got all of that precision. And that's really it. There's nothing more to it than that. You can put dot one five here to get 15 digits of precision for this. Trust me, this is gonna have unintended consequences. As you can see, you might be thinking, okay, the first six digits are spot on. It's been rounded down, but what's happening with the rest of it? The problem is in computers, values generally aren't 100% exact. So you'll get some discrepancy that there, you can read more into that if you want to in terms of computer science, but that's the reason as far as you're concerned when you're using a float, it's six digits of precision. And as long as you're within those six digits, it's fine. Anything beyond it is can be, you know, extraneous values or potentially, you know, taken away. And for a double, it's almost like essentially a long float. It is 15 digits of precision. And to print it out, the format specifier is percent dot, then the level of precision, well, one five in this case, LF, 
and then the double. So that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. That the link in the description. Over four thousand members by the week. By the time the weekend is up, we'll have four thousand one hundred members. I am one hundred percent certain about that. And if you want to check out the source code, there's a link in the description to the GitHub page. Feel free to take a look at that. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and hopefully you enjoy your weekend.